That is what I'm talking about. That's Dallas Mavericks basketball right there. That was – the guys played awesome tonight, beating the Spurs 194. Uh, Dirk, he, he's playing the best I've seen in a long time. And he really does – this team is his best supporting cast that he's ever had. And I said that before in my other videos, you know, even the years where we went to the finals or we had the best uh, record in the league – this team is just upgraded on all on all positions. And, you know, I, I talked about the Spurs and how they are better than last year. They upgraded. Manu's not hurt. The big three, all those guys are healthy. Um, and he, Ginobili provided a spark. I mean, he, he got that first bucket of the game. Uh, he had like 20-something points. Uh, he did great. And Duncan, especially in the second half, started coming alive. Um, but for the Spurs in the second half, we made almost every bucket they had to score – Hard fought. They had to move the ball around a lot. They had to earn every single point they could in that fourth quarter. Dallas, on the other hand, it seemed like it was just second nature. Um, you know, Karan had a great game today. You know, Jason Kidd distributing the ball, getting his threes like he is. Dirk, as I said earlier, killing it. And then Jet coming in there at the end to put the daggers in. Um, really pumped up this game. Yeah, it was a six-point win at home. Uh, but if you guys watched that game, Dallas was so crisp today. So just every everyone and Sean Marion, Sean Marion had a stretch in there where he was just getting to the basket at will. Uh, this team, uh, this team is good. This team is real good. Um, I still, you know, and, and it, it, I think it showed. And I know it's game one. I know this doesn't that if if the Spurs win on Wednesday, they'll do what they need to do by getting a split. But just the way this game went, I don't see the Spurs winning this series. I really don't. I, I just the way, and it had nothing to do with uh, the point differential. Had nothing to do. It has nothing. Just the, the feel of the game. It just feels like Dallas is a better team. Dallas is more cohesive. Dallas just is the more veteran team as well. So I'm just I'm super pumped by this team. Um, you know, at center, you know Haywood is is such a good center for us. He and. You know, I, I rag on Dan Pierre a lot, and a lot of Mavs fans do, for, and for re right reasons. Tonight, you kind of saw that. He was the one guy who wasn't making his free throws, but he was getting fouled, though I wish he could convert on some of those. The thing is, though, when Damp's got the ball and he does something, whether it's good or bad, it, now that we have Haywood on the, on the field, or on the court, or on the bench anyways, it, it's like I feel like, man, what would Haywood have done in that, in that position? And as I said before, Haywood is not the best center in the league. You know, we don't need Dwight Howard to kill O'Neal, though. We just need a, a competent center who can be a present underneath and to kick it out to all the shooters that we've got. Uh, just, I, I was so proud of the guys today. Uh, it's a great way to start the playoffs off. Uh, defending home court. Got to do it again on Wednesday. Um, I, I, we're taking this series. Dallas Mavericks are going to take this series. I, I still say in six. I think the Spurs are good enough to get a couple games in San Antonio. Uh, but it may be five. But we'll see. So, let's go, Mavs. Just great game all around, and I really, the Spurs, I don't think he got it this year. Let's go Mavericks.